Hey guys, FSK here, and I am back for some more Siege World. Now, if you missed last episode, basically what I did was set up our house and uh, showcase off the different areas of our Light Kingdom. So now in this episode, we're going to be making some um, couple of house upgrades. Um, yeah, so as you can see right here, uh, off camera, I did some heavy duty work between uh, episodes. So far, I have three farms going, and it looks to be six rooms. And as you can see from way up there, I have Blacksmith 2 uh, pending uh, for upgrade. So, uh, before we start off everything, let's go ahead and show off the, uh, the farms. So, basically, what the farms do is that they gather up resources even while you're offline. So, the next time you log back on, you'll have a plentiful amount of resources to collect. Now, as you can see, we just collected 970 treasure or um, timber, excuse me, 485 treasure, and a bonus 2.4k treasure right here. Now, if we do SP player, as you can see, we have 8k timber, 11k treasure, and 3.9k essence, which is pretty good. Now, earlier today, I had like 50k treasure, but I used that all up for the um, the blacksmith um, in uh, upgrade. There we go. So now, what we're going to buy is the diamond farm, in which we have actually just enough resources for. So let's go ahead and clock in 88415. There we go. Diamond essence mine, or diamond mine, pending for um, construction within four hours. So let me check the time right now. 646, so by 1046 my time. The uh, the farm will be uh, uh, quickly um, built. Now for this episode, as you can see, I just, I accumulated some like decent armor from the war zone. What I'm gonna do is to try to attempt the uh, the current um, dungeon. Um, so let's go ahead and take a life seal sword. Now this sword is the, called the soul absorber. What the Soul Absorber does is that it, once you activate um, Lifesteal, it allows you to take the HP from your enemy and add it onto your own. So it's basically like you're a vampire. <laughs> That's essentially what it is. Alright, so before we head off to the war zone, let's go ahead and check to see what dungeon it's Screaming Wind. So let's go ahead and warp war zone. And I completely mistyped that. I guess she saw... Um, warp zoner, <laughs> warp war zoner. Yep, totally. But yeah, <clears throat> so we're gonna be marching our way towards the uh, the screaming wind dungeon and uh, to see if there's anybody um, you know, doing the dungeon now. Here's the thing, we don't know if it's either light or dark. Uh, uh controlling the dungeon, I kind of want uh, light to be. To be there doing the dungeon just because you know I'd, I'd rather do it with a team because if you do with this kind of armor if you even try to attempt the dungeon you'll just die within the first <coughs> uh, first um, <coughs> area and that's a TNT blast and that does not look ooh. oh god no 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 sir no no sir no sir no sir Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, light player. Thank you. Oh, my God. It looks like we got ourselves some action right here. Oh, that was a complete miss. Let's see. Come on. Can I deal some arrow damage? Pinged him. Got him again. Come on. Come on. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Come on. Oh snap! For those of you who don't know, that's the uh, that's the um, the spell called Shield, and it basically creates an aura of um, knockback around around you. And depending on the level, it's uh, oh god, oh god, I don't want to die to this guy. Oh jeez. Oh god, who's using that shield? I think. 
I think it's one of our teammates using that shield. Oh, where the hell did he go? Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's another that's another spell you could use. That's called blink, and it lets you teleport anywhere um anywhere you're looking. So there's that, and looks like I just got. Where'd he go? Oh snap! Holy crap! Wasn't expecting that. I thought he was gonna hit us. Ooh. Oh, we gotta help our teammate. Oh no. Ah, oh, we can't even hit him. Got him. Now he's probably wearing OP diamond armor, which is probably why he's not losing any health, and probably the reason why my arrows aren't doing anything. But it's great to be a help. It's great to be a team player, and I just completely whiffed that arrow. Oh, where'd he go? Holy crap! Whoa, he's flying everywhere. Oh, well, lag back. Uh, I wish we had a third uh, light player with us for <coughs> in this fight. Jesus, these guys are fast. I can't even keep up. Oh my god, that is insane. Holy crap. They're, and they're out of my line of sight. But I do know their exact coordinates. And sneak up from behind. Oh no, we can't. We hit a shield up. Ah, come on. Land that. There we go. There we go. Landing that arrow shot. And I think I believe I saw a third light player with diamond armor, if I'm not mistaken. If I am, oh well. Um, yeah. Looks like that dark player is heading towards the essence mine, or just trying to. There he is. Ah, oh, he just got out of my line of sight. Oh, now he's back in my line of sight. Come on, come on. Jesus Christ, he's just getting pinged everywhere. Most likely he's going to turn around. I'm going to drop back real quick. There we go. Oh god, that fire tick damage. Ow. Ah, uh, there was no way I was going to land that shot. Ah, uh, nope. No arrow shot right there. Damn. Ah, uh, we should really just drop back right now. Actually, yeah. I'm going to leave the, I'm going to leave that dark players of them. Um, for those of you who not, are not familiar with those people, Epic Thought is one of the moderators on this server. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm still recovering from my, um, cough, uh, as you can probably tell. And then, um, uh, Scandal 2, I think, or Shandal 2. However, I probably butchered your name, I'm sorry, uh, if you're watching this. Uh, but, um, Yeah. So ah, uh, we took uh, because we took too long with the uh, with that guy, uh, the dungeon got queued, so the dungeon was defeated. Ah uh, man, hopefully we can catch up with the next dungeon. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and warp to the market. Uh, if I can type correctly, there we go. If we can warp to the market, we're gonna have ourselves some lottery. Now I did I did do the lottery off camera and I really should have done that on camera but here's my chance to do it now. Now let's see here. Oh no, this guy sniped it from us. Dang. But yeah, this is how the lottery works. You have nine chests to choose from, and from those chests you can get any random amount of resources. So there's that. All right, so let's go ahead and use. Ooh, ooh. Can we use that? No, we can't. Oh, I kind of wish we can do that. I kind of wish we had a Royal War Chest so we can get ourselves a really OP kit. Actually, I think I might. Um, I think I might have to ask somebody for that money. <coughs> but anyways, night chest. Uh, let's test our luck here. We're gonna choose this chest. 3K timber. So what does that put at? What does that put us at? Uh, 610 treasure, 8.5k timber. Oh, God. Well, timber is one thing we absolutely do not need. It was treasure that we actually needed, and I kind of regret not bringing a pickaxe. Um, then again, why would I bring a pickaxe, considering the fact that if I even die in the war zone, I'm not going to get that stuff back. I can buy the stuff back, but I'm not going to get the stuff back. But, yeah, uh, yeah. 
So let's go ahead and see SB control points. Let's see, Light has control of pretty much most of the control points except for Essence. So let's go back to the War Zone and try to um, reclaim uh, the other 49% of um, Essence. And look at all these people <coughs> here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm sorry about that. But uh, yeah. From the looks of it, there's nobody at the um, at the control point here, and probably these people are following me just because of the armor, not because I'm well known. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it ten uh, most of the time, if a uh, leather armored player sees a no sees a decently armored kit player like me, for example, yeah, they'll then just start following. So our true aim is the essence farm, while the um the dungeon is loading itself up now it could be <coughs> any of the three dungeons if one of them's def <coughs> one of them's <coughs> defeated i swear every time i try to talk that happens i swear but uh, yeah um it could be it could be pirate cove it could be screaming wind again or it could be mansion Personally, I like the mansion, even though it's not uh, not really the easiest of the dungeons. Um, but uh, yeah, anyway, so it looks like we're at the control point, and I was right about one thing: nobody is here. <coughs> All right, so let's go ahead and claim this back to a hundred percent, and we got a secondary person here to um, uh, help us with the uh, capture. And it looks like Media Shower is active now, and Screaming Wind is active once again. So, it looks like we're going to have to hit up Screaming Wind again. And what Meteor Shower is, is that all around the war zone, there are random meteors that strike the uh, the battleground. And if you find one, there happens there would be a chest in there. If you grab the chest, there will, a war chest key will pop out of it. <coughs> and believe it or not, I actually got lucky earlier today. Um, I found a uh, Meteor Crater, and... And... Lo and behold, I got a, uh, a war chest key, and from that war chest key, I got the um, I got a uh, greater broadsword, which is a sharpness three, and fire aspect two, echo slam two, uh, iron sword. So that's a pretty good weapon to to have on my arsenal. And this guy looks like he's worried about something. I don't know what, but he shouldn't be worried because it's mostly light players right now that are dominating the war zone. Yeah. So let's go ahead and SP War Zone. Media showers, screaming wind. Now along the way we might get a uh, we might get find a war chest key. Who knows? I kind of wish I um, find one on camera because those are kind of rare to come by. I am not gonna lie. And this is already at 100%, so we don't need to stand on there. It looks like we lost our teammate. Oh, I feel so bad for that guy. Yeah, it, it's best if you wander around the war zone. It's best to do it in, with a group of people because if you wander by yourself, you're yeah, yeah, you're pretty much dead if you get caught by enemy players or get um, teamed on. Because that does happen quite frequently here. Oh, it looks like people are already at the dungeon. Because I can hear TNT explosions going off. Ooh. All right. <clears throat> blazes. Blazes. Oh, there's nobody here. How are there explosions here, though? Ow. 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 That's not good. Oh, my God, that damage. Oh, God, no. 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 Oh, my God, no. 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 No, 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 See what I tell you when it's not a good idea to go alone in the dungeon? Yeah, because you, you could potentially die there within seconds. And that right there was... Oh my god, I can't believe we just survived that and escaped that with half a heart. Oh my god. Thank god this is a light player right here. Oh my god. Because the, the last thing I want to see is a freaking OP dark player coming charging straight for us. <coughs> Um, yeah. 
Oh, looks like our friend Creed of Kingslayer got a double kill. Sick. Oh, looks like we're, somebody needs to have a treasure. We'll, um, we'll do. All right, let's go hit up uh, the treasure cave and see what's uh, see what kind of uh, trouble is brewing up. Hopefully, there's not any uh, OP dark players uh, take, trying to take over the uh, yeah, <laughs> trying to take over the uh, control point. Hopefully, it's not the case. If if it is, then oh, then yeah, we're probably most likely gonna die. <clears throat> Excuse me, I had to clear my voice there. All right, checking behind me periodically just to double check that nobody's behind us. Uh, we have four pieces of steak left, so that's not a lot of food to last if we get chased. So, yeah, let's see here. There's nobody here, oddly enough. Ninety-nine, one hundred, perfect. Oddly enough, there's nobody there, huh? Um, yeah, that that's kind of scary. Um, yeah, you see, if you come to the control point and there's nothing there and nobody there, then it, it's your best option just to like not stick around there for too long. But, uh, yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to take a cut. And when I come back, I'll probably be at the dungeon trying to take it down, take it down with um, a bunch of other uh, light players. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. And as I'm going towards the dungeon, I see this. Um, <clears throat> so this is what a meteor crash would look like. Um, usually covered in, um, what is it, netherrack? And uh, yeah, and from the looks of it, it doesn't look it doesn't look like there's a chest in there. I could be wrong, but oh yeah, there's no chest in there. Dang, dang! I was hoping to be a chest in there because I was hoping to get a second more chest key. <laughs> so, anyways, we're about to head towards the dungeon. Um, I got I got a message from um, it was a dark archer fast um stating that he's doing the dungeon right now. So, <clears throat> hopefully that... Oh, God. Oh, God. That's kind of unfortunate. Um, it's like someone died here. Um, where does TNT come... Where is the TNT coming from? Oh, God. I'm poisoned. No. That's not good. Oh, that's not good. Oh, now I'm on fire, too. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I am not well prepared for that. Uh, I'm going to need a bunch of freaking uh, potions for this. But it, it looks like there's TNT from our teammate just firing into that area. I'm not sure where our teammate is, but I'm glad he's doing that dungeon. <clears throat> um, yeah. Uh, I might, I might have to do a, like a, like a scouting expedition because that was rough. I can't believe that this armor that I'm wearing right now, despite how decent it is, literally isn't enough to tank. Oh God! Is that our TNT or is it? That's a boss. What the hell is a boss doing out here? Well, oh god, he's he's in there now. Oh god, that's not our TNT. Okay, <sighs> pinging him with arrows. Why is this boss out here? Why is the boss out here? This shouldn't be. This isn't right. Why is the boss out here? Whoa. Okay, we're taking too much damage. Too much damage for our liking. Too much damage. Get back. Get back, foul demon. Whoa, oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh ho ho ho! Okay, okay. That just occurred. Did we just single-handedly just take down a boss? Well, if that's the case. That's a legit strat. Just dragging a boss out here, just fighting him yourself. Um, yeah. Oh god, that's the one mob I don't like fighting. These wolves. 
Because these wolves, sometimes these wolves have like speed 3 or something. And they tend to get a lot of hits into you before you can even land a single one. So it looks like nobody else is here at the dungeon. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like the guy who messaged me uh, died because this is probably his gear. Uh, yeah, that's kind of bad. <clears throat> but uh, I think I'll cut back in some. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna slowly walk away. Yeah. So I ended up dying in the dungeon. Uh, I I kept going back to the dungeon like periodically just to you know check to see if it is if anybody was doing it. Apparently nobody was there, so I tried to make a break for it. But at the same time, a witch poisoned me, and then I had like two dogs literally chase me towards the exit, and then I died because the poison and then the uh, the dogs dealing like a heart of damage every time. So, I ended up losing my diamond gear, which really doesn't matter, because it really didn't have that much enchants. The boots had um, Death Strider, which was kind of unfortunate. Um, that, actually, no, I really don't care if I lose that Death Strider. But the bow, though, the bow, though, I lost, which is a huge blow to me. Um, thank God I do have a backup bow if I, yep, there it is. I have a backup bow right here, and then I I can also buy um iron or not iron the um arrows for my armory here. So there's that. And let's go ahead and buy ourselves. No, okay, I didn't mean to buy forty arrows. Jesus. Um, yeah. What does that put us at now? Eight hundred and ninety treasure. Jeez. We got we to gotta get some upgrades going, and yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to get a lot of um, treasure out of this. Yeah, 170 treasure. Yeah, this is just... I mean, gathering treasures while offline is good, but if you're doing it at frequent intervals, then you're not going to accumulate as much treasure as you normally would be. Um, so there's that problem. Oh, snap, I forgot I had freaking uh, stuff in here. Crap, yeah. I remember I go I remember going mining with uh Paralea and then I just happened to have <coughs> all those um treasure. So instead of doing the dungeon, what I'm gonna do now is try to head to the Dark's um Warzone spawn to see if there's any light players camping them. Uh I would love to get like a few killers or two. Get some heads, sell them off and see how much uh Money we can make off of that, and get some gear too, because I got some pretty dank gear from uh, just spawning camping dark. Now the the uh, the kitted players are kind of next to impossible to kill um, with the standard gear that I have, but with the team of like at least three kitted players plus me, there's a pretty good chance of uh, of um, getting his gear. But uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and sprint our way towards the um, the the playing area for where all the darks will be coming to their demise. Yes, yes. And from the looks of it, it looks like dark players are less. They're less dark players than light. So yeah. I, I have a strong feeling that oh hello 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 dark hello dark hello dark bingham dead Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. oh yes now that's some ki that's a kill right there if I ever saw one we didn't lose that much health either so we can pretty much take on another person here and I do remember seeing a person up this mountain. Now the only problem is, will I get to jump on them or will they get to jump on me? Because if they get to jump on me, then that's game over. Uh, yeah, game over for this uh, episode. All right. Just cruising along. Cruising along. Hopefully I don't get the sneak on. Yet. <sighs> okay. Now we have a bird's eye view. 
of the surrounding area. Okay, that's a light player. Let's do SP control points real quick. We still have control of all the um, control points. Um, let's see. It probably was Mayo uh, that was climbing up the mountain as I fought. Yeah. I think it was that. Other than that, then uh, there shouldn't be anything anybody else. And I know my the durability of my armor is crap, but I but I could care less about losing this armor. Um, as a matter of fact, speaking of armor, I don't need that. The diamond pickaxe I'm gonna keep because I'm probably gonna need that. <clears throat> oh, hello, hello. Where are you running to, son? Where are you running to? Oh, come on, kill him. Come on. It'd be really unfortunate to get this kill slip away from me. Oh, it looks like this guy wants to fight, too. Got him. Oh, there's a guy right here, too. Oh, my God, there's so many light players here, dark players here. Come on. Ah, oh, how did that arrow miss? Dead. Anybody else? Any other takers? No, it doesn't look like there's any other takers. Ooh, uh, 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 hello, hello, hello. It looks like there are people spawn, spawn camping. Asian spy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Taken by the bait. That's hilarious. Alright, looks like he's retreating. Or not, he's just falling back here. Uh, let's get rid of this stuff. Going to keep another diamond pickaxe. Another one. And another one. Let's see if we can get another kill. Another kill. Uh, that's a light player. That, oh, God. Holy crap. Holy mother God. It's the mother of God. It's the mother of God. Uh, I don't want to fight with that guy. That guy looks like he's geared. That guy too. But, oh, nope. He's backed up by a diamond player. Nope. That's not worth. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, boy. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, that's not good. Nope. 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 This was a horrible mistake. This was a horrible mistake. Horrible. I kind of wish I had Blink right now, but I don't have a fantasy room, so I can't really... Oh, I think that guy does have Blink, though, because I can see a stick that he's holding. That stick is probably a wand, too. If that's a wand, and it has Blink 1, if I would assume. Yeah. Oh, God. I'm going to have to fight this guy, too. Oh, shit. Come on. One hit, two hit. No! How did he even get the hits on me? No! How? I was sure that my hit marker was on him. How? That was so freaking close. Ah, uh, if I whipped a head, if I whipped that way a little farther, then I would have hit him. Dang! That was unreal. That was completely unreal. I wasn't expect. I, I should have seen uh, seen that coming. I wasn't expecting to get owned that easily, but that was a really tough fight. GG. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. That was a GG fight. I wasn't expecting him to kill me like that. That's kind of unfortunate. Well, that's pretty much the conclusion of this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed that and. If you feel really bad about me dying that way, pitifully, uh, go ahead and like that, uh, hit that like button. Other than that, I don't, uh, yeah, yeah, that fight could have went either way, I'm not gonna lie. Um, he, uh, props to, who was that guy? Yunlong11, props to him for getting the hits on me. Was not expecting that. And if I actually saw his moves a little bit f sooner, um, I would have had him. I would have had him. 
So uh, yeah, other than that, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.